and for the headlines. Weather forecast. The heat index in Metro Manila is at an extreme caution level due to the ongoing impact of easterlies across the Philippines. Local news. Tabayan de Oro declares a state of emergency in response to the order to cut off water supply by Kobe. The declaration of persona non grata against Metro Pak Kobe is based on graft and corruption charges filed with the ombudsman. Business groups express disappointment. COWD criticizes EPAL politicians. PNP memo circular on rogue cops annulled. National news. Senators criticize former PDEA agent for providing testimony based on hearsay. DNR reports that 40 million Filipinos lack access to clean and drinkable water. International news. Putin inaugurates his fifth term as president of Russia. Entertainment. Angel Aquino expresses gratitude for her enduring presence in the entertainment industry. Tom Brady's roles attracts comedians and athletes for a comedy takedown of the NFL legend. Sports. SBP stands ready to assist PBA with attendance concerts. We are here for them. Edwards and Towns guide the Wolves to a 106-80 victory over Murray and Jogging, securing a 2-0 series lead against the defending champion Nuggets. International feature. Zendaya dazzles in a black gown inspired by the Victorian era as the Met Gala comes to a close. National feature. Filipina beauty queens find inspiration in Shane Nice, Palacios, Miss Universe 2023. Trivia. Who was responsible for constructing the initial rocket? Good morning Philippines, maganda umaga Luzon, ug may adlaw bisaya sa Mindanao. Today is Thursday, May 9, 2024. I am Athalia P. Sanyel. Weather forecast. The heat index in Metro Manila is at an extreme caution level due to the ongoing impact of easterlies across the Philippines. According to Pag-asa, the Easterlies will persist in affecting the Philippines, leading to an extreme caution level of the heat index in Metro Manila on Wednesday. Expect partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms, especially in areas influenced by Easterlies. The heat index in Metro Manila is forecasted to reach 41 degrees Celsius, prompting warnings against heat-related illnesses. To stay safe, limit outdoor activities, stay hydrated, avoid alcohol and caffeinated drinks, wear appropriate clothing, and schedule strenuous tasks during cooler parts of the day. Light to moderate winds from the east to northeast direction are expected nationwide, with coastal waters ranging from slight to moderate. Local news. Cagayan de Oro declares a state of emergency in response to the order to cut off water supply by Kobe. City Mayor Rolando Clarex Uy remains unfazed and is committed to implementing a state of emergency regarding the water situation in the first district of the city. Despite facing criticism and negative reactions for the de deployment of soldiers and police, to guard the valves to prevent Rio Verde Water Consortium from cutting off the water supply to Cagayan de Oro Water District, the mayor assures the public of continuous water flow in households. Earlier, controversies are arose over the security provided to the water treatment facilities valves, with accusations against Metro Pacific Water and Cagayan de Oro Bulk Water Incorporated for forcefully occupying parts of the facility. However, Mayor Uy clarified that security personnel were stationed only up to the gate of Rio Verde, contrary to allegations from Metro Park and the local Water Utilities Administration. Despite this, images captured by Bombo Radio show authorities entering the vicinity of Rio Verde and the water treatment facilities, contradicting Uy's defense. 
Metro Parkwater's Senior Legal Counsel Attorney Roberto Rodrigo previously confirmed their intention to cut off Rio Verde's water supply due to the COWD's alleged avoidance of payment for its substantial debt. The declaration of persona non grata against Metro Park Kobe is based on graft and corruption charges filed with the Ombudsman. Former City Mayor Oscar Moreno opposed the Council's past resolution through a special session aimed, to declaring, aimed at declaring Metro Pacific Water as persona non grata for its water business in the city. This comes after City Mayor Rolando Clarex Uy previously placed the water situation under a state of emergency supported by the Council. Moreno criticized the city government's actions as potentially illegal and warned of possible violations of the Graft and Corrupt Practices Act that could be reported to the Ombudsman. He emphasized his resolution's directive for the local government to reject Metro Park's business and instructed the Cagayan de Oro Water District and Rio Verde Water Consortium to disregard their respective water contracts with the city. City Council Majority Leader Attorney Edgar Cabanlas previously pushed for the declaration of persona non grata against Metro Pac if they failed to convince the city government based on their grounds for cutting off water supply, making them unwelcome to conduct business in the city. Business groups express disappointment, COWD criticizes EPA politicians. Some business owners are dismayed over the continued failure to resolve the financial dispute between Cagayan de Oro Water District and Cagayan de Oro Bulk Water Incorporated issue. Raimundo Talimio Jr., chairman of the Misamis Oriental Cagayan de Oro MSME Development Council and Oro Chamber of Commerce, stated that this situation has a negative impact on the business community. However, Talimiyo also clarified the need for intervention from the city government, especially considering the people's interests in the city's water issue. The city government has been accused of advocating for major investors to reduce their businesses in the city. This response came from COWD Board of Directors member Dr. Jerry Cano regarding the express dismay of some business groups regarding the contractual conflict between COWD and Kobe. Kanye stressed that the city's reputation has been tarnished due to some politicians who seek attention rather than prioritizing the people's welfare. However, Kanye did not specify which politicians were involved, but former city mayor Oscar Moreno was openly criticized for his handling of the issue. PNP memo circular on rogue cops annulled. PNP Chief General Romel Marbil initially halted the enforcement of the anti-tattoo policy among active organic members and even non-uniform personnel and even non-uniform personnel despite the 15-day deadline of removing visible tattoos from some police officers' bodies. Police Regional Office and Spokesperson Police Major Joan Navarro stated that additional guidelines are being sought from Camp Crame to enhance its implementation effectively. The PNP memo circular, initially formulated by a retired Chief Police General Benjamin Acorda Jr., has sparked various reactions. The PRO 10 currently holds over 10 million police officers in the region. So we went to a shop for full sublimation jerseys and we interviewed them. So let's watch this. What is your business na tailoring, sir? Pila na ka five years ani? Uh, since 2018. At 2018 so dugay dugay na gyud pud no sa usa pa ka tong time sir. Ah, pila pay edad nimo atong time? Um, 40 8 ana. 48 sir? 48 or 46. Sa so, 2018, pila na edad nimo ron sir? 50 Ay mga 50 ana sigo 40 ah. Ah, edad ni mo karong? Pila? 55. Dili ka? Ah, 50. Mga 50 yan ako. Dili, dili halata. Nga 55 sa kay looking young kay ka, sir. Thank Mara, you. Oh, dili halata sa mo ang edad. So, sa kaning nyo, sir, kay mo nakakita man may kaning computer. Dapat ang yung trabaho, sir. Nagyo siya ka ng mga layout, layout. Yeah. Or yes. Diritsyo. Wala po siya yung diritsyo nga. Trabaho dapat i-layout sa iyo. Agi kit sa artist. 
before mm-hmm. he played. Sa tong mo po tay mong artist. Oh, buto kong artist. Dugay na po to siya dire sir. Ah, uh, bago ra to siya sa ako. Mga last year lang nagsugod. Sa ato pa sir kay since pag start ani 2018, ikaw pa ang una gid nga nagkuan ani or na kay ikaw ba niya po. Una nga nag-start ka ng new life or Aaron na ana. Mm-hmm. Ilo no new life mo na silang una. Pero sa una sir, before ka nagkuan ani nga negosyo, asa man ka nagtrabaho? Ah, uh, seaman ko. Ay, si Mang Dagan na itong quarter day, sir. Ang gabayra. Dagan mo nag-chick, sir. Ha? Nag-chick kay si Mang. Ah, hindi. Well, hindi. Hindi, hindi. So, well, po gudi, sir. Kaya nakapundar man ka sa imuhang pagpanarbaho na. Imagine ka si Mang din. Niyabot ka sa aning uh, tanang pag... Idea bito nga mag- mag- pa- sana ka na magpaprint. Bali, unsa po di mong inspiration, sir. Ano niyabot ka aning uh, negosyo? Ah, uh, before ko na kung... Tila akong business. Ah, so, nag-shift lang kung ano. So, mas nakita ni mo sa nga, mas dako siya kung uh, income kaya sa katong tela. O, oh, kaya ang tila po, magamit po dako sa tiling nga uh, mm-hmm. nga business. Pero karun sa ka na more on, paan na lang siya mga jersey, ano? Jersey or t-shirt. Gakuan po mo sa ka nang gadawat po mo ka nang mag, may magpa-layout sa inyo ha? Yes. Tila po yung ikuan na na sa charts. Uh, Depende sa, nag-charge na akong artist, 1,000. Mm. Sa so, so, na buy, buy jersey? Oh. Or, ang, kung saan yung yung kaso, garang din siya, buy ka ng bulto, ang bulto. pahingo. Bulto, or... Kung saan yung pinakadagang sa yung na, ka ng bulto yun. Or, per set, or, uh, per, ano, 15, 15 patas. Ah, 15 patas. Kasi siya may glower, pero additional, may kuwan. Ah, so, ang pinakataas na kuwan sa mas, Kaya yun na siya nung uh, kanang barato po na yun yung pan kung daga ng kwaon. So, kung doon to, mas makalisar ka. Mas price. makalis ka. Like sa kanin gapahin mo ano yung mga jersey sir, naman kayo kanin mga government. Isa kita ang mga suki nga nagapahin mo, gabalik-balik din sa inyo sir. Mm, daghan man, din ako ma... Hindi na niyo ba yan? Ma-remember? Nag-ilo sa itong sa kadagan. Mm. Kani praanin ka na wala po may mga print print like kanin sa mga stickers, t-shirt Ay, wala. t-shirt na sublimation. Mas puti ang t-shirt or sa katong stickers? Mas puti ang t-shirt. Ah, mas puti oh. din siya. So, i-promote ang imong concert sa pangalan sa imong tailoring RC sa channel RC Digital Prints. RC Digital Prints and Garment. Ah, RC Digital Prints and Garment then asa ni siya na located sa so, address? Ah, along Paminta Boulevard. na along pa men sa Boulevard. So, salamat kay sir sa pagpainterview, okay. pagpa-unlock sa mga din.
National News. Senators criticize former PDEA agent for providing testimony based on hearsay. Senate President Juan Miguel Zubiri and other senators criticized the testimony of former PDEA agent Jonathan Morales for failing to substantiate allegations against President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. and actress Maricel Soriano. Zubiri emphasized the need for evidence to support claims made during hearings, cautioning against political persecution. Senators stressed the importance of witnesses. Speaking from personal knowledge, with Senators Francis Escudero remain, reminding colleagues of this standard. Despite political affiliations, Senators are united in upholding their constitutional duty to conduct inquiries for legislation. Zubiri urged against turning hearings into political circuses, emphasizing the risk of damaging the Senate's credibility and inciting undue anger. The Senate Committee on Public Order and Dangerous Drugs, chaired by Senator Ronald De La Rosa, will continue its investigation. BENR reports that 40 million Filipinos lack access to clean and drinkable water. According to the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, around 40 million Filipinos lack access to clean and drinkable water supply, particularly those living in islands and upland barangays. To address this issue, the government plans to pro procure modular desalination machines for approximately 60 villages. Each unit costing between 5 million pesos and 8 million pesos can serve around 500 families. These machines utilize membrane filters and can be powered by solar panels. Already, 20 islands barangays are using these machines with a large-scale desalination plant set to open in Cebu soon. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has directed immediate action on distributing the desalination equipment. Additionally, efforts are underway to construct facilities in upland villages to harness spring water and integrate flood control programs to manage water resources effectively. The Department of Public Works and Highways has allocated a budget of 300 billion pesos for flood control projects including a major flood control project in Pampanga aimed at addressing flooding issues in Bulacan, Nueva Ecija, and Pampanga. <music> International News Putin inaugurates his fifth term as president of Russia. Vladimir Putin commenced his fifth term as Russia's leader in a lavish Kremlin ceremony, embarking on another six years in power after neutralizing his political adversaries, initiating a devastating conflict in Ukraine, and consolidating authority under his control. With his new term extending until 2030, Putin, now 71, has cemented his status as the longest-serving Kremlin leader since Joseph Stalin. Despite promises to improve living standards, Russia's economy has shifted towards militarization, with record defense pending amid Western sanctions following the inv invasion of Ukraine. At home, dissent is met with severe repression, reminiscent of Soviet times with Putin's most prominent opponent, Alexei Navalny, dying in custody earlier this year. The Kremlin's crackdown extends to independent media, right groups, and LGBTQ plus activists, reflecting Putin's emphasis on conservative values. Entertainment. Angel Aquino expresses gratitude for her enduring presence in the entertainment industry. Actress Angel Aquino expressed her gratitude for her enduring career in the entertainment industry, particularly appreciating the opportunity to work alongside new talents. In an exclusive interview ahead of the MediaCon for the series High Street, she emphasized her love for acting and the joy of portraying diverse characters. 
Aquino also opened up about being a single parent, balancing her career with raising her two children. Reflecting on Mother's Day, she highlighted the importance of spending time with her daughters and feeling their love and attention, making the occasion meaningful to her as a mother. Tom Brady's Rose attracts comedians and athletes for a comedic takedown of the NFL legend. Renowned Super Bowl champion Tom Brady, hailed as one of the football's greatest of all time, showcases good sportsmanship and the Netflix comedy special The Greatest Rose of All Time, Tom Brady. Despite jokes aimed at him by the show's cast, including references to his divorce from supermodel Giselle Bunchden and the 2015 Death Let the Gate scandal, Brady loved it off alongside his sold-out crowd and at Southern California's Kia Forum. Celebrities, sports enthusiasts, and comedy fans alike enjoyed the roast, with comedians and former teammates poking fun at Brady's expense. Hosted by comedy superstar Kevin Hart, the event marked the first ever unedited celebrity roast broadcast live globally on Netflix. Hart highlighted Brady's willingness at love at himself, emphasizing the importance of not taking oneself too seriously. Although Brady was the main target, no one at the Rose was safe from playing TC. No one at the Rose was safe from playful teasing. The event, part of Netflix is a joke fest, featured a lineup of roasters chosen by producers, including Brady, Hart, and Jeff Ross ensuring a night of laughter and entertainment. Sports SBP stands ready to assist PBA with attendance concerts. We are here for them. The recent conferences of the PBA, including the ongoing 2024 Philippine Cup, have seen a decline in gate attendance, sparking discussions on social media. This issue has been highlighted, especially when compared to the crowds drawn by other sports events like the, like the UAAP Women's Volleyball Tournament and the PVL All-Filipino Conference. Despite this concern, the SBP is ready to support the PBA if assistance is needed. According to SBP Executive Director Erica D., while there are no current talks between the PBA and the Federation regarding attendance concerns, she believes that the PBA and its governors are working hard to address the issue and regain the league's popularity. Additionally, D clarified that the PBA's decision not to join the 2024 Basketball Champions League Asia is between the league and FIBA, and the SBP only gives its blessing. However, the PBA expected to participate in the BCL in the following years. Edward and Towns guide the Wolves to a 106-80 victory over Murray and Jock Kick, securing a 2-0 series lead against the defending champion Nuggets. Minnesota's Anthony Edward and Carl Anthony Towns led the charge in the Timberwolves' dominant 106-80 victory over the Denver Nuggets, securing a 2-0 lead in the Western Conference semifinals. Both players contributed 27 points each as the Timberwolves extended their playoff winning streak to 6-0. The Nuggets, despite efforts from Aaron Gordon and Nikola Jokic, couldn't keep up with Minnesota's relentless offense. Frustrations boiled over for Denver, with coach Michael Malone and guard Jamal Murray expressing their discontent during the game. With their commanding performance, the Timberwolves now have the opportunity to close out the series in the upcoming games in Minneapolis. International feature Zendaya dazzles in a black gown inspired by the Victorian era as the Met Gala comes to a close. Zendaya concluded the Met Gala with flair on Monday captivating attendees in a 1996 Galliano for Givenchy gown paired with a floral Philip 3C for Alexander McQueen headpiece. Earlier in the evening, the challengers start turned heads in a custom Mason 
Margiela by John Galliano Ensemble. The exclusive Met Gala, known for its star-studded guest list and extravagant fashion, serves as a fundraiser for New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art and marks the debut of the Costume Institute's annual fashion exhibit. Vogue Editor-in-Chief Anna Wintour has overseen the event since 1995. This year's celebrity co-chairs include Bud Bunny, Chris Hemsworth, Jennifer Lopez, and Zendaya. National Feature Filipina Beauty Queens Find Inspiration in Shane Nee's Palacios Miss Universe 2023 Two weeks prior to the Miss Universe Philippines 2024 pageant, the contestants were inspired by their interactions with re reigning Miss Universe Shane Nee's Palacios. The Filipiniana-themed outfits worn by the 53 candidates showcased the, the richness of Filipino culture during the sponsors' night at the Manila Hotel. Palacios, alongside reigning Miss Universe Philippines 2023 Michelle D, received praise for their elegance. Palacios expressed her appreciation for Filipino traditions, food, and the warm welcome she received. The candidates were thrilled to meet Palacios and took selfies with her, expressing admiration for her warmth and genuine personality. The Grand Coronation Night of Miss Universe Philippines 2024 is set for May 22 at the Mall of Asia Arena. Trivia Who was responsible for constructing the initial rocket? The invention of the first rocket dates back to around 1,100 AD in China, initially used for both warfare and entertainment. However, it wasn't until the emergence of rocket societies in the 1920s and the subsequent professionalization of rocket engineering in the 1930s and 1940s that significant advancements were made. Pioneers like Konstantin Shovolsky, Herman Oberth, and Robert Goddard in independently contributed to the development of rockets for space travel. Goddard's launch of the world's first liquid propellant rocket in 1926 marked a crucial milestone, although its impact was limited due to secrecy. The V-2 missile, developed by the Germans during World War II, served as the first long-range ballistic missile in influence of subsequent rocket developments by both the United States and the Soviet Union eventually leading to the modification of intercontinental ballistic missiles for space exploration and manned missions. And that's the information we got from here and abroad. Keep listening and watching. Please subscribe, follow, like, and share Pinoy Rob on YouTube channel. And thank you very much for watching Pinoy Rob this channel today and the Oro. And I request once more to support and subscribe and turn on notifications for more updates and more info. Again, thank you very much and have a wonderful day.